We're back in our storage unit and we are uh, deciding what we want to flip next. Um, thinking about the tables and chairs, table and chairs, or this set. So we decided we're gonna go with this one and then we're gonna pair those two together in, in the future video. Hi guys, this is Mike Naga and we're back with another restoration video. As you've seen in the beginning today, we are going to be restoring only part of the bedroom set that we have uh, in our storage unit. We bought it on Facebook Marketplace for $50. It's two dressers and one nightstand, which is pretty good. What wasn't pretty good is that we had to carry it down from the first floor on a spiral staircase yeah. and it took us ages. People were hurt. <laughs> we are most likely going to split the whole set on Facebook Marketplace anyway, so it's gonna make it easier for us to work on just one piece at a time. All right, let's get to it. So far, we have more questions than answers. We are not sure exactly how we want to plan the whole piece. We were thinking about removing the trims around here. There's no nails, so I think it's just glue. We are torn about the hardware. It's actually pretty cool. It's in good shape. Damage-wise, not so bad. Sorry for the noise. Top is coming off, so we're gonna have to get that fixed. And there's a piece of nail or screw sticking out, which actually cut the drawer. to stain the top of the dresser and today I'll be trying this wood stain by Varathane and it's called sun bleached we picked it up at Home Depot for 170 you can't go wrong with this price so I'll be trying this out today the top isn't in the greatest of shapes but we'll see what we can do with that So all the drawers are masked and ready for painting. Um, I will be masking the top as well in order to paint the bottom. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to record that because it's getting a little dark and I'm about to clean the hardware. We are going to use the original hardware from the dresser. I'm gonna be cleaning it up with the LA's Totally Awesome degreaser and then I'll be painting it gold.
quick change of plans. We just got to our storage unit. Um, we will be picking up this dresser and the nightstand and we will be restoring the whole set in this video. Let's do it! We got them both back at our house. Uh, we're not going to bore you with the, all the steps again since it's a matching set and we're just gonna repeat the steps. A couple of damages that we saw. That's quite a big gouge here. Other than that, it's gonna be exactly the same. So we're gonna remove the trims. Missing hardware here. Okay, let's get to it. We have just finished cleaning, sanding, wood filling, um, wood staining, the dressers and the nightstands. This one is all masked up and ready to be painted. These two are still drying. I'm gonna be masking them tomorrow. And all the drawers are masked up. All we have to do is paint. I don't know if you can tell, but the wood is bleeding where the old trim was. Um, I'm gonna be showing how I fix that because I'm planning on painting this whole set white. Then that's gonna be an issue. If I would be painting it dark, then the wood bleed most likely is not gonna come through. But because it's white, I'm gonna have to block that. I'm gonna be remasking these two tape I'm using definitely not holding very well. This is what I'll be using to um, block the wood bleed on the drawers. It works pretty well. Sometimes I just use a spray gun to apply it but I don't think I have enough in this in the can um, to use in order to use the spray gun so I'm just gonna paint, use a paintbrush and then sand it when it's dry. So I just finished um, applying the Kills 3 primer on the wood bleeds. The wood bleeds still came through the primer, but once the primer is dry, it needs like two hours to dry, um, and I'm gonna paint it, the bleeds shouldn't go, go through the paint. So fingers crossed it's gonna work. I did use some better quality masking tape to hold up the drop cloth, and now we wait until it dries. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Let us know if you like how this turned out, we are actually really happy with the result. We didn't add any gold accents as we originally planned. We thought that the gold hardware was enough to bring the piece together. We paid $50 for the whole set on a marketplace and the materials cost was $35. It's because the stain that we used was only $1.
at the clearance section in our Home Depot, which was really cool. Thank you, Home Depot. It took us 10 hours to restore the whole set. And we'll be posting them separately on Facebook Marketplace. Um, the tall dresser with nightstand for around 350 and the white dresser for 300 Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.